My name is Paul James Stewart and I am a tour guide here in Edinburgh, the capital city of Scotland, one of the most beautiful countries in the world. So come with me and see what Edinburgh has got to offer. We've got castles. In fact, this is the most seized upon castle in the whole of Britain and one of the most seized upon castles in the whole of Europe. So we've got two of Scotland's greatest ever warriors here. On this side, Robert the Bruce. On the other side, the man himself, Mel Gibson. Of course, it's William Wallace. I'm just kidding. We have a cathedral that is not even a cathedral. Named after the patron saint of Edinburgh, St Giles. After the Reformation of 1560, the Church of Scotland, who are Presbyterian, became the main Church of Scotland and don't believe in bishops. Did you know that Scotland banned Christmas for 400 years because of the man who lived in this house here? John Knox, Scotland's most miserable man. We have little courtyards called closes. Walk down the Royal Mile and have a look for yourself. Just look at the architecture here. We have got palaces and parliaments opposite each other. Very different buildings, I'm sure you will agree. This is Holyrood Palace, the official residence of the King of Great Britain. King Charles. Did you know that Edinburgh is and was the home of many famous Scottish authors, including Arthur Conan Doyle? And here is Arthur Conan Doyle's most famous character, Sherlock Holmes. There is much more to see in Edinburgh other than the city centre. Get yourself on a brand new tram and come down to Leith, the port of Leith, and get off here at the shore. Welcome to the port of Leith, my hometown and it's also home to not one, not two, but three Michelin star restaurants. We also have the Royal York Britannia and the world's first vertical Scotch whiskey distillery, all here in Leith. Of course, the best thing about Scotland is the hospitality and the Scotch slander. <laughs>